Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool, and this super cool thing is the PB Swiss Torque Limiting Driver Handle. Look at that, it's got a digital display on the back end. So what you do is you adjust the torque you want limited uh, by inserting an Allen key here, I'll show you how that works, and then you use any of the PB Swiss interchangeable shanks. Um, and I've got a couple of them here, I have the quarter inch hex and the quarter inch square. So the way this works is there's a digital display on the back end. You turn it on just by pushing on it. I've got it set for imperial units. It does work from 10 to 80 centinewton meters. And you're going, come on, Doc, throw me a bone. What's that in freedom units? Well, that's about 0.89 to 7.08 inch pounds. Now, this is the gray cap version. They also make uh, several other versions, including one that is 0.3 to 1.84 foot pounds, and another one that's 0.74 to 3.69 foot pounds. Now, I've got larger tools, such as this uh, quarter inch snap on torque wrench, digital version here, and this one runs from um, 15 to 300 inch pounds. So it complements that nicely. And if I need to go from, say, 10 to 50 uh, with a manual version in a hex driver, I've got this, which is a, kind of a co-branded Vortex. Nice little simple design. But anyway, this digital one, it's kind of cool. What you do is if you, you know a, a limited or a torque you want to limit at, you insert this PB Swiss 3 millimeter uh, hex wrench in, and it drops right in to... The, um, the opening in the back, and then you turn this on. The way you operate the screen is just by pushing on it. Now I've got it in Imperial or you know SAE units there, or inch pounds in this case. You can see it marked down there. If I push and hold, this will switch over to um, the metric unit, the SI units. So this is rated in SI from 10 to 80, and this right now is at 61. So if I turn the wrench one way, I can increase it up to 80 you'll see that I'll go ahead and take it out there 75 or so right there and then I can insert something like one of the uh, the in this case the quarter inch drive uh, quarter inch square drive shaft and then since that's set at 75 when I start to turn this if I can it's a little you know what I'm gonna pop that off and drop that in here little tighter, a little more leverage. So now when I turn this, like I'm tightening, you can see that it allows me uh, to turn only up to that 75 centinewton meters. Now, I don't use centinewton meters in a normal <laughs> anything, actually. Um, so I have to do some conversions either into newton meters or into um, inch pounds. But what I wanted this for was for some fine electronics work. A lot of times electronic screws, you basically screw them in, they bottom out, and then that's the torque. You don't keep going. Um, so you can kind of tell, but some do have torque ratings. And because this kind of fits in in my, my set of tools at the really low end, this would be more the precision. And as you guys know, I probably, uh, it's probably easy to tell I have an affinity for fine Swiss things, and this is, is no different. So, a lot of times, uh, you know, these screwdrivers, like this one here, you know, are, the, are ones that I grab. Absolutely love these things. The bit storage, uh, a little larger. It's probably because of the handle, too. I like this handle. Um, the Instinct handles on the Snap-ons, while those are nice, it is a a little cruder handle, if you will. It's designed, you know, as a tri-lobe, fits in the hand in a lot of different directions, but the round ones, of course, have more of an infinite ability to grab them. So there's pros and cons. But anyway, this thing uh, is the PB8320A, and that, again, is the 10 to 80 centinewton meter. Um, they've got the PB logo, this does come with a certification, um, and as you can see right here, it's also got a serial number in there. Um, simple design, pretty cool. If I go down on the low end, I'll go ahead and drop this. Um, can spin that down. You see how I'm just unwinding what's on the inside as it drops 60, 50s. Um, remember, I'm going to the, in this case, the tenth of a centinewton meter, what's that, a millinewton meter, um, or I can go to the hundredth 
of a of an inch pound, although it does go in five um, five tenths or five hundredths increments. But anyway, I'll drop it way down here. It gets pretty easy to turn after a while because this is lowering. It starts at 10, so I've got 11.5 there. So if I drop this in, um, you can see I can just hold it with two fingers. Very low torque right there. But anyway, thought you might like to see this since they're not terribly common. You know, a, a, uh, I guess a torque wrench with a digital display on the back end that looks just like a screwdriver. Can't use it as a screwdriver, of course, because it's got it's always going to be limited at something within that range. But real cool little simple design. I don't notice. In fact, it's well, it's course lighter than those, but it's a pretty light you light uh, tool here. But anyway, there it is. Pretty cool. And with that, dock out. <laughs>